Oh man, what is this? It's huge. Oh man. All right. What the heck is this? What is this? Wow, interesting, Shane. What do you think it is? If you love Second Sense, type Second Sense. If you love Second Sense, type Second Sense. If you love Second Sense, but you rather have bitty sense. I, what rhymes with sense? If you love second sense, top second sense. You need to tune this thing. A Boeing. Hello, my name's Chachi the Paparazzi. Oh, wait. Hello, how we doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Yes, you. Guess what? It's Robert Second Sense Auction here, the auctioneer extraordinaire, and we're going to go through some more of this unbelievable stuff. This guy every year brings me one great load, vintage goodness. There's toys, old radios, all kind of great stuff, and bam, boxes all wrapped up. Everything's tagged. We don't even know what's in the boxes. He just brings it. I let him bring it because I know it's going to be vintage goodness. And once again, if you haven't subscribed... What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Hit that bell. Get all of your notifications because you know what? How are you going to know what's in the box if you don't? So let's see what we got in this one. Uh-oh. Still taped up. Look at that. Super tape chain. <laughs> well, hopefully we're hitting the slot machine again. Oh, big winner, big winner, big winner. Ooh, win, bar, win. Got to hit three wins to win big. We'll go one more time. Come on, come on, come on. I can't stop now. I'm addicted to the one arm bandage chain. We might be here all day. Yes! Woo! I'm the winner! Oh, Man, I'm so excited. I never, I never hit on a slot machine before. Payout was zero, but the moment, priceless. Priceless! What do you think, Shane? Shane's going to remember that the rest of his life. When Rob hit the jackpot, second sense. Speaking of hitting jackpots, look at this. This is one of these tin litho toys. Now I can just tell in two seconds, this is a reproduction made in China. And when you're around this stuff long enough, you can tell. Just two seconds. I'm just touching it, I can tell how the metal feels, the tin feels. It's thinner than the old tin. So let's see. Somewhere on here, I'm sure it's going to say made in China. I can just tell, I mean, look at the bottom. But once again, tin friction, very cool piece though. Great display piece. And this whole thing is just loaded, wrapped up stuff. Speaking of vintage, now there is an old, look at this. The Santa Fe train. Pretty cool, 1959. Tin friction, once again, you just it's cool, it has that thing on top. This thing's probably always missing, you know, probably broken off. Oh, ho, ho. Da, 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 da. look at the little tiny Tonka. 1960s Tonka truck right here. And oh, look at that. So you gotta keep your concrete mixing machine, so you gotta be like in here. Mix that concrete. Little kid put his dirt and water in there, mix it up. Go over to his sister where she's playing and just dump it on her. See, I had a twin sister, and that's why. Trust me, she wasn't nice. I was the nice one. She's the evil twin. Da, da, da. The Fast Break Continental Express right here. Very cool piece. Once again, this is old tin litho. You just tell how it's made. You can see the age on the metal itself. This used to be all shiny. It's been worn down over the years. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to... Pull out next, there's just so much stuff in here. I'm just trying to make sure I don't damage anything. I'm trying to pull it out. Oh man, it's like the Monopoly man. The 1901. Look at that, made in Japan, tin litho. Very cool piece. There, it's got all the things on the bottom here. 
and usually they don't work. Once in a blue moon, you'll give them to work. This one, the battery compartment's very, very clean on it, so it might work. And you know, 10 litho toys, a lot of these, you know, they're worth 30, 40, 50 dollars. Some are worth more, it just depends on the rarity, condition, and obviously if it works. Man, these boxes are just loaded with so much stuff. That is cool. I mean, just look at the guys inside. They got all the communications, little thing in the back here. A little vintage fire truck. And uh, there you go. Made in China. So, cool piece though. Very cool. And then we're on our room, there's so much good stuff in here, Chain. I have to bring the box down to the ground. I'm gonna pull out this. Oh, man. This thing looks awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Woo. That's a nylon toy right there. And that is really clean. True value stickers on there. So, looks like someone, I think, might have repainted this. And they could have restickered it. The wheels could be new. But it does say nylon, but just how the spray is right there. I just imagine that they want to have overspray like that. It would probably all be one color sprayed. So it's a good possibility this has been repainted and re-decaled. But still a good vintage toy. Speaking of good vintage toys. <laughs> Look at that. Holy smoke. Now that's the real deal. 1960s fire engine. And right there. S and H made in Japan. That's what you're looking for. So if you're out there, just remember this, ladies and gentlemen. There's the reproductions made in China. If it's made in Japan, it's gonna be marked made in Japan. If it's made in China, it'll probably be marked made in China. So look for that because the price difference is huge. And there's people out there that are gonna try to sell them as the real deal because they are deceitful. So be careful. Oh, that was the fun. See what I'm saying? I know you want to just take it home now. Maybe, Shane, maybe. I'll let you take it home and play with it. Little bio-operated train right here. Pretty cool. This one's made in Taiwan. So definitely older, but starting to get newer. They moved out of Japan, started moving into Taiwan. Then they moved to China. As the things got more expensive, the labor. That's a Mark's 1950s gravel truck. And they start, they did this for some toys. It's very interesting because you have the plastic body and the metal back here. So a lot of times the plastic breaks. It's very, very fragile. This one has no breaks or cracks, especially with the metal back. So I'd have to look this one up. This might be more valuable just because it's the dual plastic and metal. Look at this. Now that's old. The, the biggest issue with this, it's definitely been repainted. And you can tell right away, just look at the paint. It's so clean and shiny. And then if you look, it's just not smooth, the paint job. And these toys back then were all made with precision. They were all made well. <clears throat> In the 40s, 50s, they didn't make junk toys. So, but it's still a cool piece. Like I said, the some people like them restored like this. I mean, the restoration on this, I'd give it a, maybe a B, B minus. Oh man, that's a cool little metal car. Just the look of it. You know, this is definitely newer, but still a cool piece. And these are great display pieces. That's why people want to buy them. Display it. Oh man, what is this? It's huge. Oh, man. All right. Wow. Look at that. Strucco. And you can tell by the make of how the truck is, you know, 1950s style. Very cool. It's got the doors in the back. A lot of times these are missing. I see all the wheels on there. These are broken a little bit, but still they're there. I mean, overall, not bad. It's not been repainted, so that's good. It's got the bumper a lot of times this is missing. These are little things you gotta look for. If you're buying this stuff to make money off of it, you gotta make sure that stuff's there. If not, it's not gonna be worth much. Uh-oh, two things left in the box chain. Oh, I 
I like this. Look at that. That's a little uh, paddle boat right there, river boat they call them. And the tin litho on this is beautiful. I just like all the little doors, the columns. I mean, so detailed. And it's complete. Made in Japan. You know. And sometimes pieces like this, they're a little bit different. Oh, look at it. It has a little boat here. And it looks like it's missing one of the lifeboats. So, you know, they, they could make it more valuable. Just because it's a, a little uh, paddle boat. Last thing in the box, you ready? I lied, there's two more things left in the box. Two more things left in the box, you ready? I'm ready. Oh, Tonka Farms. That's nice. And you can look at how the Tonka right here is. That's the old Tonka. The old logo. So they can date it 40s or 50s. I would say 50s, maybe early 60s. But still a cool Tonka. Tonka Farms. We got so much more to go through, guys. So, there's all those boxes back there. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Another old Tonka. It's got original paint on there. Has some scratches, blemishes, but original paint. It's in pretty good shape. 1959. The dump still works. All the tires are there. Still got the glass. So... Condition-wise, not bad. It's it's uh, getting close to collector grade condition. It does have some little wear on it. So we'll open some more stuff. Who knows what else we're gonna find? But this guy brought us so much stuff, worth so much money, and you can buy it if you want it. So don't forget to check out the website. So much, so much vintage goodness. Oh my gosh, this one's super heavy. Usually it doesn't bring too many heavy boxes. So I wonder what's in here. What the heck is this? What is this? Wow, interesting, Shane. What do you think it is? I have no clue. Huh, look at that. Is it a projector? I don't think it's a projector. I don't think it's a projector. It says test procedure. It says photographs. It's a camera. Please clean carefully. Aircraft. Oh, some kind of aircraft. This might be from World War II or after World War II. This might be an aircraft to take uh, aerial photos for Tannis' stuff. Very interesting. So we'll have to do some research on this piece here. But we got paperwork with it. We got the original case. And if it has to do with the military, it's always worth money. And cameras are always worth money. And I've never seen anything like this, so I'm thinking it's going to be worth a lot of money. At least a few hundred dollars. It says right here. Look at Sexton Aircraft. A-10A. You guys can do some research. Let us know in the comments what you think it's worth. So pretty cool. What else is in there? Because that's not heavy enough to do. What else is in there? Oh, man. Let's go see how many times they do it until Mike says something. He looked. He was looking. He's looking. He's trying to figure out what I'm doing. Now he's looking again. He's looking again. We're waiting for him to say something. Come on, Mike. Say something, Mike. Come on. That? Yeah! He got his hall card. Crystal bolt. We'll cut out a lot of that out. But right down there. Czechoslovakia. Hand cut. It's a good piece. So we got two crazy things in there. Snow White 
and the seven dwarfs. A little top right there. Very cool piece. You'd play with that one, aren't you? Oh yeah. Still works. Oh, it makes noise. This is only a test. This is this sound will be followed by emergency broadcast system. Once again, this is only a test. Vintage goodness right there. The car and the winner, Mago. And this is a tough one here. Very tough. It looks like this is a reproduction and this is real. So my guess would be this is a reproduction car. And this is actual Tim Litho camper made in Japan. So they put two and two together. They painted this car to make it look like that, but still... Nice piece. Coca-Cola always sells. Taxi. Do you know what a taxi is, Shane? Never taken one. Shane only Ubers. Oh! Speaking of Uber. It's a nice Ridge Runner. A little Bowie style knife there. Nice. Extremely sharp, that's for sure. Oh. You know what these are, Shane? Um, binoculars? No. Good try, though. So this is Mother Pearl, of course. These are called opera glasses. So when you go to the opera, Shane, and you go, oh, you want a better look, you take your opera glasses, make sure your pinky's in the air, and stare. Pinky in the air, and stare. You understand? That's what opera glasses are for. Ooh, that's vintage. Ambulance, army. Yeah, maybe. Looks like it's vintage. Tin litho. It's ambulance. Oh, I like this one. That is just a cool looking car. And it uh, looks like, once again, looks like they painted it. And I know they look cool, but <clears throat> I hate when they repaint it. It looks like they probably took off this metal, painted it, and then put the metal back on. But I can just tell. I mean, it definitely wouldn't have come looking like that from the from the factory back in the 1950s. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. The military always sells. This guy's got the spotlight, the gas tank on the back. You can tell it's old just by looking at how the dry battery open. <laughs> so you know it's old. Made in Japan. It'd be cool to see it battery operate. I don't know if this thing moves around or if it just shines. And So much cool stuff. Oh. Ice cream! Get your ice cream right here. So he works. Little ice cream in this thing would go around. His legs are going to go up and down. What do we got here? Yeah. Another old car. It's like a. Like a oh, so right here, 29. So it looks like from the 20s or something. So this is made in Japan, 10 friction car. Oh! We don't want to fly away. It's got a little damage on top of the roof. Other than that, it's in pretty nice shape. But that one does not look like it's You know what I'm thinking? I got a car, it's made of tin. I don't care what shape it's in. It's not a Chevy, it's a Ford. Did you ever hear some? Yeah, yesterday. You know what, Shane? That's enough of you, pal. That's, a, that's pretty cool. The flintlock dual wing pistol. And uh, 1960s. I like that. And it works. Oh, it looks like it's sparking in there, maybe. Pretty cool. So, it's in good shape. I don't know. 
Probably a twenty dollar bill, maybe thirty dollars. This one's got three headlights on there. Made in Japan. So they make reproduction ones like this, but this one looks like the real deal, but it could be a repop. It's just, first you gotta start looking at it. See the first thing, I think it might be a reproduction that someone made to look old. Okay. Now, that or they just replaced the screws, because see these screws here? They didn't have Phillips heads in the 1940s and 50s, just to let you know. There's still a head in all four there, so there's a Phillips head there. So it feels like the real deal. Looks pretty well, but those Phillips heads got me thinking. Might not be the real deal. Like I said, the Chinese we produce so much stuff. You gotta be careful, and they make it look so good. Look at this. Got the little horse here. Mark's cart and horse. Oh, right there. It's marked. Mark's. Very nice. Look at this little. Choo choo train! Zigzag Comic Express. There it is, man. The one you wanted. You want the clown driving your car? It's actually the Circus Mobile. Right there, you look at you got clown back here, you got the guy with the drum and the dog, the seal. Oh my gosh! I gotta let this thing rip. It just wants to go. Man, the wheels are spinning so fast, I don't think, it's, I think you're gonna need some more grip than here to just spin out, man. I gotta find something with some grip, but man, that thing's flying. Flying! The Circus Mobile. Look at the armored car. You know what the problem with this armored car is? Someone broke into it! But no, look, it actually had a lock on the back, so this was a bank. Savings bank, that's pretty cool, huh? So you got the armor car, Tim Litho. And the best thing is your brother could just steal your bank. I was just playing with your toy. I didn't know there was money in there. 1957. All right, Shane, two more things left in this box. So much more to go through. We'll probably show you a few more things, but man. Barnacle Bill? So this looks like a ripoff of Popeye the Sailor. And wouldn't it surprise me if there was a Popeye toy that looks just like this and they ended up painting a mustache on it, putting Barnacle Bill, and they are, you know, this way they could make another toy that they didn't have to pay. And look at Barnacle Bill go. We're gonna put him on Mike's little seat here. See if he dances for us. Go, Barnacle Bill. Barnacle Bill. Barnacle Bill. Get down, get down. That's what I love about these little toys. So that is a cool piece. Last but not least, make sure you said, oh no, there's more in there. There's always more. He packs some good. Guys, you gotta make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. Make sure you get all your notifications and all this awesomeness is gonna be in our toy video game auction coming up, our video game and toys, something like that. A couple weeks from now, so make sure you bid on the stuff. We got all kind of cool toys. You're gonna see the crystal in there. There's video games. There's so much greatness. And that's another box. Never know what's gonna be in these boxes. We still got two huge boxes left from this guy. Plus so much other awesome stuff that came in. Plus storage lockers. So once again, watch all the videos. Once again, you never know what we're gonna find.